there's something really magical about the polar experience. Out of all the amazing landscapes in the world, Antarctica sits out there on its own. No matter how many times I've been here, it's just always a fantastic thrill. Seeing that first piece of ice on your way into Antarctica is just spine tingling. And then it just keeps on getting better from there on. And so when you go into Antarctica, you've got to expect that you're opening up for yourself a whole range of amazing experiences. For me, as somebody who works on the ship, what I love is the fact that I'm working with a specialist team of people. We're all incredibly enthusiastic about what we do, about being in Antarctica, and showing, but also Antarctica that we love to the people who come with us. And Polar Pioneer is fantastic for that. The trips that we do to the peninsula and to South Georgia, it's a really nice intimate experience for passengers as opposed to the, some of the larger ships operating in the area. It just means that our passengers have more time on shore, more time Zodiac cruising and more time out there amongst it, which is what it's all about really. Our Zodiacs are very versatile and, and the interactions that you have with the wildlife in a vessel like that are you know, quite extraordinary, whether you're actually landing and being right there next to a penguin rookery or you know, doing a Zodiac cruise along a beautiful coast. People get blown away by the abundance of Penguins wildlife. will come you up can to sit you. on a beach in South Africa. This has got to be one of the most amazing spectacles on Earth. One of the largest king penguin rookeries in the world. What we have here is a photographer's dream. To see a massed colony of penguins and beaches full of seals, it's actually amazing to see how vast nature is. And it's not just about nature and landscape. You're going to see the sun and the moon in the sky together, setting and rising. The light is always beautiful. Everything is so much cleaner and sharper and highlighted in Antarctica. Pushing through pack ice and watching the nose of the ship just break apart the history chunks of ice. There's something like that's being revealed in that process that I really love. And people find mesmerizing. People stand on the bow of the ship looking down at that process for hours sometimes. People think of Antarctica as just being this pristine environment untouched by man, but there's a real history and when you go you find that history around every curve, every cove and every bay. It's a part of the polar experience that a lot of people don't think about. They think of whites and blues, but there's a red rust patina that's overlaid that beautiful blue and white backdrop. What I love about it so much is that the landscape is always changing. It's still landscape this and balance, you know, it being really quite wild and dramatic. The light, the wildlife, the ice, you know, the sunsets, it's just yeah, pretty magnificent. It's a long way to go, but it's well worth it. I mean, everybody loves the experience of coming down here and you can see why. I love this part of the world. Once Antarctica is in your blood, it's there forever.